Today I thought I'd show you a little fragging video of how we're going to frag, or how I frag, some Monty. And I um, thought I'd uh, demonstrate on this one here. It's, um, it doesn't have a fancy name yet, um, but I love the uh, hot pink rim all around that. It's um, got a similar coloration to the SR Ferry Lights, but it doesn't have the real glittery polyps on it. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you, take it over to the fragging bench and I'll show you how I frag these. So um, yeah, we're over on the fragging bench here now. And um, yes, yeah, so I run through, it's a very simple procedure to frag this particular type of coral and the way that I've got this coral growing out here. Um, so they're done on a house tile and I've used the shiny side to grow the coral onto. And um, that's purely so that the coral, the, the frags, which are always the new growth, um, I never use this growth here. I always use the new growth. That's so the frags come off really easy because this shiny side, nothing really sticks to it that well. You see the coral line just falls off there. So um, I can use a scalpel and I can slide straight underneath there and I can take really nice flat frags the entire way around that. And this is a really fast method. And that's how I get really flat frags. So I chuck them in the water. And uh, yeah, so I'd pretty much do the, the lap around that. And then that one will go back into the um, into the growth system there to keep going. Um, I don't get, I don't need too many of these frags today, so I'll, um, I'll only make about probably ten with that. But um, that will go back in the growth system again, and um, I'll pull it out again probably a month's time and redo that. But um, I'll put that aside. So we got there our um, frags that we just made in the bucket. I'll put the mother colony in there as well. And over here, we have some pre-soaked frag tiles because um, you soak them in water because they're ceramic and they absorb a little bit of water. Uh, absorb. When they absorb water, they release an air bubble and that air bubble gets trapped under the glue. Um, I use ME Coral Gel. You don't need a lot. Uh, that's why I like this. The tiniest little droplet on there. And... Um, so yeah, those tiles are soaked for around five to 10 minutes before I use them. And that stops any air bubbles rushing out on the glue. And quite simply stick the little pieces down on there. So that's a, a really, really simple coral to frag. And that's because of the technique that I use on the house tile. If I didn't, if I had it on something a lot more rougher or a ceramic base, I would actually have to break that tile up. Whereas this method, it's quick and I can do 20, 30 frags in as little as two minutes. So, yeah, a little bit of insight to how we do some things on the coral farm.